Welcome back. So today what I want to talk about in this video is network monitoring. And if you're not doing any network monitoring because you think it's expensive or you're not really sure how to go about it, I want to show you a system that I'm really fond of. Um, first, I'm sure that everybody's heard of uh, Nagios and all of the different systems that are built around that. This is not Nagios. This is Libra NMS. And it, uh, when you go to LibraNMS.org, you can see right on the front page, it says, Welcome to the Libra NMS, a fully featured network monitoring system that provides a wealth of features and device support. So what can it do? It can do automatic discovery using CDP, FDP, LLDP, OSPF, BGP, SNMP, and ARP. It's got customizable alerting. It's got an API billing system, automatic updates, plugins, distributed polling. And <clears throat> what I really like is you've got a couple different options for downloads. Uh, they'll walk you through installing it on Debian or Ubuntu or CentOS or Red Hat. But they uh, also have a, a VM that's ready to go. And so you can download an OVA and deploy it to VirtualBox or you can download the VMDK and import it into a VMware product. So and VMware is how I run it in my corporate environment and the OVA is what I use to play around with it on my laptop. But before you download it you can either look at the screenshots which really don't do it justice um, or you can give it a test drive and I suggest you give it a test drive um, even if you just download VirtualBox and follow the instructions here on the site um, or you can actually use this try button and it tells you you can log into the demo the username and password are both demo and you can see that they've got this dashboard already set up and you can fully customize the dashboards you get alerts and notifications up here and you can see the options across the top you've got an overview and this is what we're looking at this main dashboard you see all of the information that they're pulling and presenting here on the front page you can look at alerts you can look at maps so it builds a network map based on how it believes your devices are connected there's tools uh, you can look at the event log you can look at the syslog you can do an inventory I mean this thing is really powerful you can search IP addresses that are connected to your system then if you go to devices you can look at all the devices and you can see they've got an HP something I don't know if it's a printer or a switch or a router or something is running HP Comware probably something to do with networking but then look at this ubiquity devices they've got a nano bridge m5 an m5 an m5 another m5 and I don't know they should probably since this is their demo I'm I, I'm assuming that these are real IPs and these are live but I haven't tried to do anything with that and then they've got a PDU for their uh, an APC PDU for their rack they got a generic device Looks like they've got some Linux running here. There's another UPS. There's a Cisco device. And you can see where it says up, 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 up. So if your device is responding to SNMP and to ICMP, you'll get this, this green. Now that's by default out of the box. But you can see that this is red and it says SNMP. So that means that this device couldn't be contacted via SNMP. This one's red with ICMP, which means we couldn't ping this device. And so, who knows, it could be some sort of uh, DNS error with this because they're not using an IP, they're using an FQDN. And as you can see, uh, this says up, and, but it's using a, an FQDN, so who knows what's going on with these two devices. Um, you can see here's an Apple Airport, another Linux box, and you see this where it says ignored this also says ignored I don't know if these devices are down but if if this device goes into an alert mode and you keep getting alerted and alerted and alerted and you're tired of of getting the alerts 
uh, you can come in here and you can ignore the device and then you don't get bombarded every uh, I can't remember what the default time is but then you don't get bombarded with the notifications and let's see what you could actually do is come in here and disable it and ignore it and that'll probably turn it that, that uh... no hmm now it just says disabled. I'm not sure you'd have to play with it to see when the background of this, what that orange means. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that means it's down and we're ignoring it. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't uh, had any devices go down where I've had to experience that. So uh, what else? You can look at uh, the services. This is where you can define services you can look at all the ports of all of your devices so you can see it sees VLANs and physical interfaces here you can look at the health of machines and one thing that we use this for is we monitor Windows servers and we look at disk usage and anything over 60 percent of a, of a disk use we get an alert but then anything over 90 percent it really starts you know winding winding up and notifying us because we need to definitely be looking at that so you can look at see the memory health we can look at the storage health and you can define the thresholds so and we defined the the 60 and the 90 percent um, you can see they're monitoring Apache bind which is a you know a DNS server you can look at the memory usage, the storage usage, the processor. They're monitoring MySQL. You can look at the routing that's set up, and you can see this is eBGP, iBGP, the uh, remote AS numbers. You can look at OSPF devices. I mean this this software is is fantastic and I'm not gonna lie one of the things that really attracted me to it was when I added my first ubiquity device and that you showed up I was kinda hooked I'm not gonna lie but uh, go over to Libre NMS org we'll pull that up again here real quick head on over there download the demo or actually download the full-blown version but uh, deployed in VirtualBox on your machine uh, download the VMDK, deploy it in your VMware environment. Uh, give it a shot, comment, share, let me know what you think about it. You know, put your comments down below. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, please subscribe, and of course, comment and share, and we will see you at the next video.